I'm Aki Oshiro. I was in the second grade of high school, but the school was located quite far from my house. Whoa, there are so many people. It's the rush hour, so there's no wonder why. Since my town was in the suburb, many people used car instead of train, so usually there weren't many people in the station. But this time, in the morning was the only exception. The station was flooded by people. I can't breathe. It's so hot. The train was packed as usual. Because I wasn't very tall, I felt like I was crushed by people. Phew. I found a space near the door, and I was able to catch my breath. It was that moment when I was making myself comfortable. It's the same guy again. I could feel that a guy in suit was standing behind me. I've never seen his face before. I didn't want to look into his eyes because I was scared, but I knew that it was the usual guy. Uh, I never liked speaking up because I was really shy, so I couldn't scream for help in a situation like this. Also, this train didn't have any fancy things like a female only carriage. I'm scared. Someone help me. I should get off at the next station. I thought and I closed my eyes. Finally, we're at the station. I can run now. I thought, but the hope didn't last. I couldn't get off because of the people who were getting onto the train. Ah, uh, I. I want to get off. I tried to speak up, but because my voice was so quiet, no one noticed. The train departed before I could get off. No way. I have to put up with this again? I was in despair and I couldn't think of anything. That moment, someone else cut into the space between me and that guy. Our eyes met for a brief second. Huh? He's from the same class. Tsukasa Nita. He nodded slightly and he stood right behind me like he was protecting me from the guy. The hell? You are in my face. I'm sorry, it's kinda packed. Tsukasa-kun looked like he didn't care even though the guy clucked his tongue. Tsukasa-kun, he helped me. When I got off at the station, I looked for him so I could say thank you, but I couldn't find him anywhere. In the classroom, Tsukasa-kun sat at the desk near window in front of me, slightly to the side. He was usually looking out of the window like he was bored. Hmm? Uh, I... I mean... Um... As I stared at him, he caught my gaze. I looked away in panic. Oh no, he must have thought that I'm a weirdo. I was embarrassed. My head was getting dizzy just by thinking that he was still looking at me. Since then, I was looking for an opportunity to thank him, but to no avail. Ah, uh, hey, Tsukasa-kun. Oshiro-san, what's up? Ah, uh, I mean, I... um... Huh? You didn't talk to me? I yeah. Oh, if that's the case, I have to go. Uh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to thank him. Thank you. Two words. Those were the only words I wanted to say. But when he looked at me, my tongue froze because my heart was beating too fast and my face turned red. I am a socially anxious person, so I don't like speaking up. But I wonder why Tsukasa-kun is making me even more nervous. I was fed up with myself who couldn't even thank him for what he did for me. Four days had passed without any success. Miyabi done. I'm such a worthless person. Oh, you just realized it now? You've been pretty useless all these years. Uh, you're mean. Miyabi Ikuzuki was my childhood friend. She was cheering me up, or rather, abusing me, because I was all depressed. If you can tell him, then you could write a letter. Just shove that into his shoe rack or his desk, and you're done. How's that? I can't. It makes me look like I wrote a love letter. It's much harder than verbally thanking him. And what's gonna happen if someone else was looking at me doing it? 
I can't bear that. Jesus, you really are frustrating. Don't just want to thank him. Yes, but that's really difficult for me. God, you're making me angry. Ugh, I'm sorry. There was no wonder why Miyabi-chan was so mad with me. I hated myself for being this way too. One day, Mr. Tonegawa, our teacher, was talking in the homeroom. Uh, there's a vacant position for the student librarian. We need one more person who could fit from our class. Who wants to be the one? No one raised their hands. I was already a student librarian. Because no one used the library, it was a great position for a shy person like myself. What? No one wants to do it? If that's the case, I'm gonna get someone to do it. Teacher, that's tyranny of power. Shala! Uh, Nita, you're not in a club or a community right now, right? Oh, me? Yeah, I'm not. But, uh, then, I'm gonna sign you. It's not everybody's job anyways. Nita, please! Uh, wow. Hmm? I felt like Tsukasa-kun was looking at me for a moment. Okay, I'll do it. Nita! I knew you were gonna say so! Okay, okay. Tsukasa-kun is the new student librarian. Maybe this is an opportunity. I probably can thank him if we were alone in the library. Probably. I felt so happy about it. And the day came when we were both on the shift. Inside the small reception booth, I was sitting with Tsukasa-kun with one empty chair between us. My face was going to turn red just because of the situation I'm in. No one using the library here? Yeah. It's so quiet. I know. Tsukasa-kun talked to me like he was trying to be nice with me, but I couldn't continue the conversation. Oh no, he must be thinking that I'm such a gloomy, boring person. I want to talk to him more, but I can't. I could only hear people from the clubs yelling outside, and Tsukasa-kun turning the pages of the book he was reading. My heart was pounding so fast, the sound of it was so annoying. I hope Tsukasa-kun can't hear my heartbeat. I have to thank him. When I realized, I was staring at Tsukasa-kun's face. Huh? What's wrong? Ah, uh, um, I... I looked away quickly, but I can't keep on doing this. This is... I'm just repeating what I've been doing. Uh, I... I actually... Oh, Shiro-san, I can't hear you. Could you speak up a little? S sorry I actually wanted to thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to say that, but I couldn't. I can't even thank him? I'm really, really useless. Self-hatred was starting to crush me. But that moment, Tsukasa-kun smiled gently and faced his ear to me. Huh? Say it again? His voice was so gentle like he was cheering me up. That was why I was able to be brave for once. I put my lips close to his ear. Um, thank you for helping me on the train a few days ago. I was very happy. I whispered my thanks into his ear. Tsukasa-kun was shivering from something. Hmm? Are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Really? R really? Tsukasa-kun was acting funny like he was in trouble. That was probably why that I did something so out of my personality. So, this is my way of thanking you. Huh, what's that? Mm -hmm. What? I kissed on his earlobe with all my heart. Tsukasa-kun jumped and leaned back while covering his ear. Whoa, Oshiro-san, what are you doing? S sorry, I wanted to... You wanted to? Jesus Christ! I couldn't look at Tsukasa-kun's face because I was embarrassed. Oh no, I did it! What the hell am I doing? I'm such an idiot. I did too much. What am I gonna do if Tsukasa-kun hated me for this? My face was burning from regret and excitement. Suddenly, the library door was slammed open. Whoa! What? Yeah! It was Miyabi-chan. Her face was very joyful but it soon turned to a suspicious one. Hey, I'm bored so I popped in. And what are you guys doing? 
Your faces are both red. Huh? Tsukasa kun's face is red too? Shiro san, you don't have to look at me. Oh, oh, okay. It was a shame that I couldn't look at him, but I was relieved to know Tsukasa kun was embarrassed too. Oh, so you guys were up to something special behind the closed doors. No way! Huh? Really? See, Aki is hurt because you denied. Just tell me what happened. <sighs> After that, Miyabi-chan was interrogating us for a while. Since then, Tsukasa-kun, morning. Oh, morning. Shall we? Y yeah, I started to go to school with Tsukasa-kun every morning. In the packed train, Tsukasa-kun stood behind me. Tsukasa-kun, can I borrow your ears? Huh? Like this? I was still a very shy person, but I was able to whisper my thanks into his ears. Thank you for everything. I'm really happy. Tsukasa-kun was looking all embarrassed. He was really cute. I hope that I can confess to him soon. I thought, looking at his face red.